What are the critical principles of Wing Chun that are most important for self-defense? Is there a question you've been asking about that? Critical movement is more the hand positioning. Sooner come like that to attack. Hand position coming in. For example, if I walk in, my hand close by, he clap. Now we have a big problem. Very difficult, clap again. Very difficult to respond to the hand. I'm stuck here. Okay? So if you coming in, my hand come like hand open slightly. Yeah, so I got room here. Hand is here to free. Easy for me to attack. I don't even need to look back. Like that. And I tell him I walk, I do the movement. That's very, very important. Hand positioning, be aware of your surrounding. Another one. I might come along here. He might come in the fake and come in here. Me, straight away come into attack. The idea of this is your hand position. Soon he come in, I'm not sure. Straight away coming in. Okay? So this is a basic principle. Positioning and balancing. So when you need to learn to understand this, you've got to be have the hand, straight away the knee, so he can't grab. Soon he go, set, can't grab, then the elbow, to get rid of him, to deal with him there. Okay, think of that. That's a very important thing. It's all about learning your hand positioning, aware of your surrounding, so you know exactly what you expected, and always prepare for the worst. And then you respond fast and quick, and go straight to the point. Is that answer a question for you? How can video training support someone's self-defense skills? On your question there, how the video training support on your training skill on self-defense side? The video that we provide is your best friend. That's the only friend you ever have. It's there to reference you on the movement that you do correctly. Reinforce what you've been learning right or not. And this is very important for you to have it so you can look back all the time. No money in the training side, in the class. You, I can be there, show you the movement, but sometimes you forget very quickly and easily. So the video is a very good reference for you to watch back on and you can see what you've been learning so you can practice to make it work for you. Is that answer the question fair? Some people think video training is not useful unless you train regularly. What are your thoughts? Video training is very useful. But you've got to understand in a very basic thing. You have to spend time to train regularly, like anything. If you want the result, you have to do it all the time. You have to do it enough that you can own the movement. Okay? If you don't spend enough time practice and you're watching the video all the time, that won't do any good for you. Training is enhance your body to make sure that all the muscle memory in your movement, the muscle, the response have to react when the time comes. When that time comes, you have to do it, okay? You're watching things, but you don't respond to it and learn it. When that time comes, you can't not use it. So it's very, very useful tool to reference back on the training. But you have to spend enough time training to make sure you can do it right. Is that the answer to the question for you? What are a few Wing Chun techniques that are simple but highly effective in a real street attack? To your question there, what is the most effective onto the basic movement? It's very easy. The thing you've got to understand is you. What sort of movement you can use them well. For example, if I'm moving and he comes to punch me, I'm using this hand, hand it can be effective. To get you flying distant can be effective. Or he coming in, boom, the leg there can be effective. Soon he come along, and then I go, boom, like that to stop it can be effective. Okay? Or maybe he come up, attack again, carry on, like, boom, like that, boom, like that can be effective. Okay, Cheng Peng coming in to attack, outline him for attack coming in. <laughs> like that, and then, can, that can be effective. Or he coming to a kick me. Okay, so it's going to lay in the leg, and there, can be effective. It all depends what you're doing. He might attack and grab hold me, for instance. Yeah. <laughs> that can be effective. It all depends what you're doing on all this kind of movement. When you understand this, go distant control. When you come in again, it's distant control. Control the line, yeah? So when you line, control the line. So soon you understand that line, boom, you can able to find where he is. Or he may be coming in, and boom, 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 then come attack, boom, and break your neck. It's all depends. I can close him up and use the movement. Can be come and attack, I can boom, straight away come in now, and boom, come in there, and do the movement. Can't be effective. Anything 
that make it work to figure that it can't be effective how you use it it's all dependent on your basic training kicking leg attack distance control and go into do the hammer fist work is very a very effective movement onto our Wing Chun training system is the answer to the question fair how often should someone train per week to be truly prepared for self-defense to answer your question there how often do you really train per week it depends on you and depend on what you're using the self-defense for and what sort of self-defense you're talking about. If you're in Iraq, you have to train every single day, every minute of the day to make sure you're prepared for the worst thing can happen to you. But again, if you're in England and you're quite in a posh play, who won't attack you anyway? So how often do you train? You are training as much as you want to train and you do as much as you can. It depends on the situation you're in and what you want to do with it. If you come across with a lot of, uh, uh, go out and get a lot of yourself all the time, get attacked and you're getting quite hostile in a certain place, then you have to train to be prepared. It's like the athlete athlete try to be professional like a professional boxer or amateur boxer or professional fighter like MMA and non-professional. The professional train seven day a week or five day a week, four or five hour a day. Non-professional they train one hour in a month or one hour in uh, a week or one hour in whenever you want to train. It depends what you want to do with the training to make sure it's highly effective. Highly effective for me, highly effective for you is very different. Okay, this is very important. Is that answer the question for you?